Hey guys, David here. So we're doing a session of catfish fishing. So there's white catfish, channel catfish. Um, they'll bite in during the day, just prefer it at night so I'm not burning to death and enjoy the outdoors. So uh, my son's trying to pick off a bowfin or a pike on his whopper plopper over there. Say hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, so I'm using my carp rod. So this is a eight foot six tsunami airwave. I just got these Daiwa, um, what do they call, I forget what they're called, Black Widow Bite and Runs. So 20 pound power pro braid on there. Whoa, that was a big B. Oh geez, I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, just got a snap swivel on there. And this is 40 pound leader. And I just made um, <clears throat> a high-low rig with three uh, all-purpose hooks with the bait keeper barbs on there and then a four ounce sinker because the tide will be heading out soon. Um, for bait, my favorite bait to use for channel catfish and white catfish, whatever's in here, um, are shrimp. So I go to the Asian market and I buy these whole shrimp. They are $5.99 a pound, I think. So they're a little cheaper because they're not prepared, I guess. So um, shell on, heads on and everything. So what I do is pinch off the head throw it out there because the bullhead will come in. Um, then as far as the body itself, so what I like to do is pinch the tail off and I peel this last segment of shell off. And then thread it on, that's it. And just make sure the hook point is exposed. And that's it, chuck it out. Um, bait the bottom and that's it um, So let me just bait up the bottom hook and then I will cast this out and we'll wait for a bite All right guys, we're gonna chuck this out It's beautiful out right now All right, let's chuck this bad boy out I don't need to chuck this thing too far. That's it. And set it up on the rod stand. And that's it. Bait runner rod. Wait. Surprise, there's still bait on there after that. Take the boat so we can leave. Got one. There you go. You like a catfish? Definitely a catfish. No, that's not no bullhead. All right, first catfish of the night. Feels like a decent one. It looks like a decent one. Yeah. Hopefully it's hooked him in time he didn't swallow it so we're just gonna keep two or three of these that's all let's see what we got here it's a nice one oh yeah what is that bullhead what is that oh no chin let's see what it is oh that's a nice one yeah it's a chant nice channel Keep them there. Yeah, keeping them. Alright, so nice little channel. Right, about 
five pounds or so, nothing huge. So we're just gonna keep a couple of these. So, all right, let's try and catch another one. Ah, that's a small one. Thomas, get this one, get it. Get it, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Real, 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 real. Oh, did he fall off? Yeah. He'll come back for it. Just make sure the, the bait runner's on. Ooh. Oh, that might actually be a either I got two on there or it's one nice one. Or maybe it's covered in weeds, I don't know. Please don't be an eel. What is that? Yeah, it's a decent cat. Yeah. Pick the bigger ones. Yeah, let's get let's get bigger ones. I agree. There he goes. <clears throat> You got one, Thomas. I don't think he's big though, but. Oh, he's going in the rocks over there. Ooh, 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 he is a decent one. Just watch your face in case the sinker flies out. I just don't want a tree to get hit. Should be a decent one. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. Good one? Good one? Yep. Good one. Ah, uh, yes. White catfish? Uh, oh, that's a, that's a, ch that's a, ch wow, that's a nice channel. Very nice channel. That's a nice one here. Did you? Right, let's take him off. Scoop him over here. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Hopefully this one doesn't have ulcers all over it. Oh, right in the bottom of the mouth. That's a nice one right there. They're all biting in this corner. Where all the eels are. Yeah, no kidding. All right. There we go. So nice little catfish. Yeah, it's probably like eight pounds or so. Take a look at his mouth and everything. Nice little cat. Whoop. <laughs> All right, let's put he didn't spawn me. He didn't? Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, let's put him over here. All right, so we got two, two very nice catfish right there. Um, is this a channel? Yeah. yeah, that's a channel. So we got two nice channel catfish. Um, their heads are a little bit narrower than um, the white catfish. The white catfish have this big bulbous head on them. So these are two nice ones. So we're just gonna keep one more and uh, we're gonna call it a night. All right guys, so we ended up with two really nice channel catfish. Um, I can't handle the bugs anymore at this point. So this catfish is probably around 20, I guess I'm, 23 to 25 inches, um, really healthy, fat, chunky fish. So um, yeah, we're gonna call it here. Uh oh, hold on. All right, guys. So this thing stopped biting. It was actually a couple pretty good hits. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. We got some nice sized catfish. We're gonna cook them up. Just gonna do some beer batter. And that's it. You don't need to get too crazy with catfishing, like as far as tackling that type of thing. You just need to make sure you bring a decent amount of weight with you to hold the bottom if you're fishing in a river, um, a lake or a pond, not so much. So um, we're using four ounces, five ounces tonight, and neither are really holding the bottom, but 
Um, we just let the sinker sort of roll down and eventually it just sort of found a spot to nestle in and it held. So, um, yeah. All right. Thank you guys.